Dr. Larry Hall may look like he's walking backwards in a giant treadmill, but he just may be walking back to the future. He's exercising in what he hopes will be a power trainer for champions. This is our console, uh, which tells you speed and miles per hour. He Distance. spends his days practicing family medicine, his nights dreaming up inventions like this one, and this one, and others designed to train athletes better and more efficiently. <laughs> For Larry Hall, it's been a lifelong journey. I was an asthmatic child that could never run very far or very fast. And so um, I thought there must be some way of training to run fast. Um, and make it a unique and fun way of doing it. Mm -hmm. So I came up with this idea here. Originally, Dr. Hall planned to take the energy a person expends running like an upright hamster and recycle it. So he called his invention the Generacer. But there was one problem. If you walk for three miles an hour, uh, for an hour and a half, you probably produce uh, one and a half cents worth of electricity. <laughs> So even though it feels like you're expending a lot of energy, yes. <laughs> you literally aren't. The machine tells you how inefficient you are. <laughs> In the future, he hopes to see the machine used as a trainer for track and field events. And it rehabs for athletes who've had injuries. Anyone can use the Generacer. Do your warm-up exercises first and then get started. Of course, it does help if you know how to walk. I'm Nicole Pierce in Hermosa Beach, California. The running and fitness boom. Millions of Americans running and jogging just for the health of it. Others pushing to get into serious shape. In competition, rigorous new training methods help athletes smash records. But the effort can smash more than records. It can break down the muscular skeletal system. Each foot strike sends thousands of pounds of shock force shooting through an athlete's limbs and muscles. In California, Dr. Larry Hall's flash hit him one day while he was sitting in traffic watching runners. Originally, Hall thought he could convert their energy into electricity on a treadmill. He built the first prototype in his basement, testing the human-sized wheel himself it did generate a small amount of electricity. But the second flash came as he tested the machine. In just a few weeks, he increased his speed from a non-runner's walking pace to a respectable 12 miles per hour without any jarring impact. He took his invention to the University of Southern California for a field test. Here it helped two college runners recover and stay in shape even with sidelining injuries. I suffered severely bruised toes on my right foot. I couldn't walk nor run, and I could very suddenly wear shoes, but once I did get a good pair of shoes I could wear, I could start running inside the wheel. And that took all the pressure off my foot, so therefore I could run, and, and it would rotate under me and keep spinning. He had a very badly bruised foot, and he couldn't even run on it anymore. After the second meet, he limped off the track, and it just got worse, and yet uh, the next week he was on the uh, wind sprint, and it doesn't bother his foot at all. I suffered a groin strain injury for about eight weeks and because of the strain I also uh, suffered and am still suffering from um, bruised ligaments in my left foot and with the wind sprinter I was able to run and feel no pain in either in either injuries um, it allowed me to open my stride and not feel any pain in my in my groin their coach sees added benefits what it does it teaches you how to use your arms properly it teaches you how to run erect teaches you how to get your arms and legs synchronized and you can run on it when you're hurting. Uh, so I see a, a big use for it. And he's seen some personal benefits. Well, I just started working on it and I liked what I was doing because the doctors won't let me run or jog. I've got a real bad back and I've had some other problems. And I, I was just starting to work out and get the feel of it and I liked it. There's no jarring at all. Sports medicine specialist Dr. Watanabe concurs. This would be a very good way to um, not only train, but also rehabilitate the injured athletes, um, uh, e even in the older age group. I think uh, this would be a good way to uh, train the younger athletes in the proper uh, techniques of running. 
Absorbing most of the impact of running, the wind sprinter may have the potential to put millions of athletes back on the track and keep them there, healthy and running with less risk, and perhaps even winning more sprints than before.